This is Dr. Webb here. Today I have Ada, one of our uh, sports medicine PAs. Um, she's going to tell us about the um, field of, the, of becoming a physician assistant as well as how she got to that point. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Please. Hi, my name is Ada, um, as Dr. Webb said, and I'm 38 years old and I'm a single mom. Um, my journey to being a PA happened in my 30s. I reinvented myself after having gone through a career of coaching Division I volleyball. Um, although it was an exciting career, uh, it didn't quite get my daughter and I in a comfortable situation. So because my family has a lot of medical background, I got interested in uh, the medical field um, and not wanting to go through eight plus years of more school, um, I kind of started exploring different routes. Physical therapy was also an option that I did considered, but um, I looked more into the PA route because I was really interested in orthopedics and in surgery. So um, I started to do prerequisites that I needed. Although I already had a master's degree, uh, I still needed some like organic chemistries and anatomies and stuff that I didn't have so I took those and got and got that done and started shadowing which is another really big thing you got to do um, but it was probably about a four-year journey before I was finally um, in PA school. So uh, my name is Paige I am a, a pediatric orthopedic nurse practitioner um, so I'm actually a family nurse practitioner uh, working in the specialty of uh, pediatric orthopedics. Well, how much education or how much does it take to get in, to become a PA? Uh, what does it require? Yeah, so you still you have to have a bachelor's degree at least. I had a master's degree, but you have to at least have a bachelor's. Uh, the PA uh, program is a master's okay. degree. Um, so that requires a master's degree in uh, nursing, and um, so that. That requires you to have a bachelor's of nursing um, first. There are alternate routes, but that's the most traditional route, is a bachelor of nursing. Um, you don't have to work as a nurse first before entering the master's program, but um, most people do work at least a couple of years. Um, I worked about uh, two years in between. Um, and then there are different tracks that you can choose uh, when applying to a master's program. So. Okay. And describe a typical like day for you. Um, it starts like eight, or it starts at seven, and it goes to four or five. What is a typical day for you? As a PA or when I was a student. As a PA. Okay. So um, now that I'm uh, in a surgical role, mm -hmm. my days vary. So um, as you know, as a resident, your days can start sometimes at six a.m. Yep. But a clinic day would start at like eight a.m. Okay. And it goes until the last patient's taken care of. So like today we got done around 3, it's an early day, sometimes we're here till 5, 5.30. Okay. Um, and then surgery days also vary. Okay. Um, so at my job here, I um, mostly work in the clinic. So it's usually um, 8 to 4, 8 to 5. Um, and I usually work alongside a pediatric orthopedic surgeon um, running the clinic. Um, but I do have days where I see patients uh, independently on my own. Um, and I see um, any number of conditions uh, with kids with orthopedic problems ranging from fractures to um, congenital deformities and things like that. And coming out of school, how much can a PA um, expect to make coming, coming out of uh, training? Yeah, so uh, average salary in the state of Texas for a PA is about 90000 a year. Okay. Um, and then it increases or decreases depending on your role. So. Um, coming out of the gates, most people will be like around 80, 85, and then they can increase from there. The highest that I've heard of um, coming out of school is in, I think, plastic surgery or neurosurgery, and that's about 110 starting. So it depends on the type of practice that you go into. Um, so on, if you look up the average salary for like a pediatric nurse practitioner, it's like $85,000 a year, um, whereas when you get into some of the surgical specialties, um, and I know emergency um, nurse practitioners make a lot more. They make more like uh, upwards of $100,000 a year. So. And uh, I have a lot of students and followers who 
who are concerned about their age and going into medicine, what do you think about um, going into medicine at an older age, maybe 45 or 38 is not, oh, I'll give you a problem. <laughs> but yeah. going in at an older age, not like at 21, 22, going in at maybe your mid 30s, going into medicine. What yeah. Are your thoughts on that? I think life experience is a huge element in maturity. So um, although I had PA school with perfectly capable young students who were not necessarily veterans in the work world, but were really smart and knew how to study and knew how to take those tests. Um, but there was definitely a difference in the people who already had work experience, life experience. And I've found that um, that's one of the reasons I got into PA school and I found out that's why I've gotten hired um, because that's what people look forward to. So. Awesome. I think it's it's benefited me. Yeah. It hasn't hurt me. And a lot of people are asked the question of NP versus PA versus MD. What made you um, choose the NP route? And um, your thoughts on like going versus MD versus NP? What are you, what are your thoughts? Well, to be honest, I'll clarify uh, the difference between a nurse practitioner and a PA is pretty minimal at this point. Um, I went with a nurse practitioner because I already um, had my bachelor's in nursing. Um, and but you end up with a, a pretty much the same role as a PA, uh, just a little bit different route. Um, in terms of a nurse practitioner versus MD, um, it's less school. Uh, there's way more flexibility in terms of how you get to the end result of becoming a nurse practitioner. Um, so there's a lot of ways, a lot of different paths you could take. Um, and then um, in terms of your job, you have a lot more flexibility there. Um, obviously you don't get paid as much, but you have a little bit less responsibility <clears throat> and you have the, the um, flexibility to be able to choose one field and work in it for a couple of years and then decide you don't like it and choose a different field and, um, and work that way. And any other advice you would give for, I guess, someone, a student or someone who's interested in the field becoming a PA, any advice you would give? Uh, the advice that I definitely would always give to people when they ask me that question is to shadow as many PAs as they can. So being in an environment where there's not only um, physicians that you can kind of ask questions to, but specifically shadowing PAs, follow them, see what they're doing, um, try to find out how, what their involvement level is. Some PAs are kind of kept in clinics and not doing much, and others do a lot more and have more autonomy, and they kind of need to figure that out and decide it. So I think nursing is a great option for anyone looking for um, job security and also um, flexibility. And um, it's great for people that like to work with a team and um, for people that want a lot of responsibility, but again, kind of work collaboratively with other uh, team members. Awesome. Thank you so much.